Huawei announced its Hongming operating system recently after the US government blacklisted and stopped all the business activities with the Chinese-based tech giant. Now that the ban is removed, will Huawei continue using Android or will it start rolling out the Hongming operating system in their upcoming devices? To make things clear, without further ado, let's get into the video. Huawei has been one of the biggest tech companies out there and it is predicted that Huawei will very soon be the largest smartphone manufacturer overtaking Samsung. Huawei these days has been popular for the 5G technology that they recently introduced and it looks like they are all set to implement it. Huawei had a huge blow when the President of the United States weeks back announced that Huawei will not be able to carry out any business activities with the US based companies. Google was instructed to stop all the business activities with Huawei with immediate effect. This eventually made Huawei not to use Google's Android operating system. Things later on started getting worse when ARM broke ties with Huawei, leading Huawei to an inability to develop their very own chipsets since Huawei uses ARM's technology to develop their chipset. This led their sales crash down by over 50% and the majority did not prefer to buy a Huawei despite the fact Google promised updates for the existing Huawei users. Later after a couple of weeks, President Trump of the United States and the President Xi of China had a meeting where a lot of things were discussed and out of which the Huawei ban too was topic which was spoken of. President Trump was finally convinced and unbanned Huawei from the US market. This action by the US president totally was surprising and the millions of Huawei users were excited of this. Now Huawei has the ability to continue the Android operating system for all its existing and upcoming devices. One thing that happened between all these problems was the introduction of the Hongmeng OS. After a few days of ban, Huawei made announcements that they are already developing an operating system for their smartphones which was claimed to be an operating system about 60% faster than the Android operating system. The tech giant has kept silent about this for the past few years until the recent past. The Hongming project is under development for almost a decade now and the company officially said that this OS will roll out in the end of 2019. After days of Hongming's announcement, Huawei got their Android license back and now we are all confused of what is going to be the next move of Huawei. Will it use Google's Android or will it start rolling out their very own Hongmeng OS? Huawei for the past few years has been trying to be as independent as possible. For example, Huawei earlier were using a chipset that was not built by them and a few years later they built their very own Kirin chipset. Kirin has now been one of the world's most powerful chipset with a super cool performance. And now the announcement of the Huawei's next big thing, the Hongmeng OS, is going to make Huawei even more independent. Developing an operating system with perfection is not something easy. Google in fact suffered a lot to develop the operating system to take where it is now. It takes years for an operating system to reach a perfect shape. This is where Huawei is having problems initially. Although Huawei has been making researches and developments for years now, no one outside Huawei would have used the operating system. In result, Huawei won't be able to get the complaints or suggestions from the users since the users still do not have access to it. If Huawei is releasing an operating system now, it should make sure that the operating system must be either as to a similar level of Android or better compared to that of Android. If it doesn't belong to these two categories, the Hongmeng will definitely will not have a good start. So far in the meantime, Huawei will not release the Hongmeng operating system to the public and take a huge risk out of it. According to a trusted source, Huawei will be using the Android operating system maximum until the end of 2019. Which means by then, Hongmeng will be all set and fit to be implemented. Although the ban is revoked from Google, for Huawei it's like they have got a grace period for about 2 years to extend their launch date of the Hongmeng operating system and bring it to a perfect shape. Now the question we all might have is, if Google is fully developed operating system with a majority of users being happy with it, why will users prefer Hongmeng over the Android operating system? It's simple, Google's Android is now more than 10 years old, it's one of the oldest mobile operating systems out there. Google's Android is a Linux based operating system and that is where Android lacks. Android was initially developed as an operating system for a camera and later it started being developed further and was used for the smartphones. 
to be very specific linux is not the best architecture that could be used to develop an operating system for a smartphone this issue has been a quite a big concern for google and google too for the past few years has been developing an operating system which will replace android by 2020 the operating system is named as fuchsia and by now there have been a lot of rumors and leaks surfacing about this operating system according to what the announcements and leaks say the conclusion is that by 2020, there will be no or less Android users. Fuchsia and Hongmeng could be the leading operating systems along with iOS. Google might not totally ditch Android but could offer the users options on the operating systems they prefer initially. Along with Google's Fuchsia might stand the smartphone manufacturers like Samsung and Pixel and on the Hongmeng side will stand all the Chinese smartphone manufacturers including Xiaomi, Oppo, Huawei etc. Huawei Zongming in long term could cause trouble to Google and would possibly be the next big thing on a smartphone. Not literally on a smartphone but everywhere including televisions, self-driving cars and maybe even computers. Leaks about the next major operating system have been coming up very quick with the recent hype of Huawei's ban. To make sure you get all the updates on this, subscribe us which will help us do a better job and if you like this video smash the like button. Signing out is Akil for Tech Digest, see you on another video.